um, they're smaller in physical dimension. They're just different, and they produce more air. And for whatever reason, the multi, they're deeper, don't have a pump, produce less air, and don't have the P1, P2. So if you want to use a controller, you need to get... It's interesting that they're bigger and they produce less air. I have no idea why. So I was going around in circles because I wanted the P1, P2 so we can use it on our home automation. Yeah. Paperwork said that these didn't have Yeah, that. so I went in there and I'm like, I'm going to get five units, whatever, and because of this reason. And they said, no, this does have P1, P2. And I'm like, no, it doesn't. And I showed them the PDF and I showed, went down and I showed them what controller they were listed. And um, basically they said, that's a mistake. <laughs> <laughs> so I, went, I got misled. But yeah. anyway, we got the right gear in the end. But these are smaller. So we're going to adjust the um, book or rod and whatever. But yeah, so we're replacing I don't them like with the same capacity, but physically they're different sizes. Whereas ones we took out were physically they're bigger, bigger than this, but they were both the same. equal. They were yeah. both of 2.5 kilowatt, 5 kilowatt, but they were equal dimensions. Where this is, it's fully different, which is fine. But it's just because the other one was a multi, and the multis are just a different unit. Weird. It is weird. It's very weird. <laughs> Basically, we're just back at this Mossman job today. It's actually Thursday. Um, so basically, I worked Monday, just did that compressor job, and then went and did finish the multi, which I'll put a few clips in now. Okay, so that's all in now. It's a 900 by 100 bar grill on top of a, a wardrobe that just got built. So basically, um, yeah, the, the customer decided he was going to get a wardrobe put in, and he also wanted aircon and he wanted to have a bulkhead unit built in with it. So we've all worked together, myself, the customer, and the wardrobe builder to get it done. So basically, there's a big wardrobe. Um, in the top, they've left a cavity for me to put a bulkhead unit in, and also at the bottom, they've left a spot for me to run pipes for a different unit that I put in the lounge room, which I'll show you now. Backy today on a Thursday because I actually had Tuesday and Wednesday off this week. I just had to get some stuff done, um, some stuff outside of work. But um, like I oiled my deck that I built at home and just a few other bits and pieces. But I'm back at work today. It's Thursday. Back here at Mossman. Anyway, so we've hung these bulkhead units basically directly center of those cutouts. Um, they're actually going to be changed, the cutouts. But before, the bulkheads were mounted up and it was actually too high. Yep. Yep. Anyway, um, basically, before the bulkhead had a little sleeve off the front that came down on However, 
we've lowered it it's still above ceiling height and it's just straight on so i'm going to get some sleeves made up that just go straight onto the bar grill and the reason why i haven't butted it up is so it's center of that area so in here there's a bar getting built and the top of it will be removable so when you remove it it's an easy location for it to be dropped in case you want to service it or change a fan motor or whatever but anyway it's just hung off book rod center of that little cavity area so that's the stage we're at now same deal in here this is a smaller capacity unit for a smaller capacity room directly center exactly the same situation center <laughs> I was standing there waiting and I'm like, I should have been around from the door. Yeah, so I, was I, worried. Reach. I didn't want to move because if that like, if I, I didn't want it to cut out because of those sensors and then not be able to move and be in between levels. For the next hour while I'm getting oh, rested. Dude, don't like that. Beautiful. So, that's where the pipes came out before. Went down, they had a multi outdoor unit. We've deleted that. We've changed the position of the hole so we can get that all patched up. And the reason why we did that is because the hole was bigger than the width of the trunking. Even the width of the trunking that was there. Oh, I'm going to drop the camera. Even the width of the pipe that was there before had a gaping hole out the side. And that's that's not Marac's spec, is it? <laughs> that's not up to scratch. That's not how we do things. So I just couldn't leave it like that. So I just deleted that. Leave this abortion. And um, basically, yep, we're gonna have run our pipe. So today we've just prepped, and that goes along. And then over there, we're going to have the core hole through and the pipes go across to the other side of the house. Sweet. So, that's done. We go home. Home time. I let the door close. <laughs> Desperate times. <laughs> All right, back at it. It's Friday morning. Just put a hole up there. Put that last bit of trunking up. Um, so we're gonna run some pipes soon. going on Tom's wiring up sweet
done a bit more of this pipe trunking. That's going to get covered up. It's the old one. It's getting deleted. It's all getting fixed. But yeah, I just run two sets of pipe for the bulkhead units in that. All right, so I'm just here basically on a Saturday morning in Bondi. Um, just working on, I've just got a couple of service calls in Bondi. So this one is um, for a rental property. The unit's not calling, it's not doing anything actually. Indoor fan runs, outdoor does nothing. The timer light flashes six times. So was that LED one before anyway that error code is a communication error between the indoor and outdoor and it's one of those situations where like the board or possibly both boards are faulty i'll need to test that um but it's like it's just one of those situations where it's like do you even change the board or you just replace it because of the price difference um obviously i'm more than happy to replace it but you just got to give them both options because to get boards and then to come out and replace it um isn't cheap and it's only a five kilowatts splitty that's back to back so it's the price difference between replacing the whole unit and repairing it won't be as big of a difference um especially considering it's a back-to-back -back install but anyway, that's a communication error. Um, basically all, I'd, all I've done so far is just turned it on, tried to start a few times, nothing happens out here, and then um, just just stops and starts flashing communication error. So I'm gonna just do some diagnosing to see which board it is, indoor or outdoor. Um, anyway, that's this job. And yeah. Alright, so it's Saturday. Um, I just went and did a couple of service calls this morning. Um, basically, this is a short week because I had some stuff I had to do. But um, yeah, next week will be a better week, more filming and whatever. But basically, we're so inundated with work at the moment it's a bit hard to keep on top of the filming stuff but not complaining definitely not complaining um yeah and it's, it's basically i've been working six days every week don't necessarily like doing that but when the work's there i'll do it um but anyway that's done it's lunchtime on a saturday now gonna give this thing a wash um this thing isn't even finished being set up. Basically, got a whole bunch of stuff I still need to do to it to get it set up properly. Um, and once that's all done, and once I've used all the tread on these tires, then I'm going to get the wheels put on. But um, yeah, so that was a pretty busy, pretty busy time lately, getting pumped with work, trying to set this up. Um, but not complaining. Plenty of work. Good, good stuff. Got some good projects on. And I've actually got another VRV starting, like the build is starting this week. So we've got like two big jobs overlapping, which is the way it goes. But yeah, so anyway, um, I'll see you next week. I'm going to install some condensers and stuff on that Mossman job. So that'd be pretty sweet. Um, I'll show you how to do that, show you the pipe run and whatever. But um, yeah, I'll see you then. Thank you.